Michael DeJoy here with the Affinity Legends of Wall Street Trading Room. I'm trying to try to make more than $1.97 today. Okay, yesterday was a little bit of a battle. Now, um, I'm really glad. Um, hold on one second. One of our uh, illustrious members who is returning um, is asking for tech support for the most basic of items. So, um, yeah, let's go through some stocks. Um, we had a lot of great calls today, uh, yesterday, but it, it was a great lesson in having all those great opportunities. I still managed not to take some of them and not have a good day. It was just a flat day. Um, I did do well on some, some things. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go through some of them now. Uh, INTU. Okay, we made a beautiful run, $1 move in the morning, and um, first thing in the a.m., and then it actually uh, made a nice move at the end of the day, if anybody stayed with it. Um, INTU, I still think, is in play. Um, some of us um, played a potential gap on uh, on Facebook. It did not really gap up. Okay, but let's continue to watch Facebook. I think it has its eye at 108. Okay, if it breaks 108, that's the proverbial uh, crack in the Car Kardashian bottom that Kenny always talks about. Um, so if it breaks 108, next stop is 110. Um, just be aware that Facebook very often dips before it rips. Okay, uh, Apple uh, still a bull flag. So Apple, I thought it was going to be a one, two, three continuation, has turned into a bull flag, and um, and has not really got, done much uh, lately. But keep an eye on that one as well. Um, Let's take a look at some of the other stocks that are in play that are more our style. On the daily chart, we had ZFGN gapping down to 675. So it's gapping below all support. Usually stocks like this, they just melt. Okay, I changed my color again. Is that him? Is he, did he finally make it in here? Where are there he is? No? Not sure who that is, but I thought the guy that I was helping just made it in here, but he didn't. Um, Z gapping down is ZFGN. ZFGN gap and go down. Okay, watch that one. We're going to take a look at some of the others uh, that you guys put in the room. Um, ZFGN is a gap down. Yahoo. Now, guys, I like Yahoo as a trading stock. Yahoo's gapping up to 36, 36.09. It was up way more last night, which is a little disconcerting. So Yahoo might be a fade. So let's, let's watch Yahoo based on the five-minute high, five-minute low. Yahoo. Okay, it was way up post market, might fade. Okay, so we're going to watch Yahoo on the five minute high. And low, what's up, Mary? Uh, I don't know where it went. It's okay, I just don't worry. It's around here somewhere. Five minute uh, fade, five minute high and low. Okay, so that's Yahoo. The next one is INCR. Okay, 
INCR gapped way down to 44. Is that really 44? 90. Yep, 44.90 right here. Uh, INCR might be what we call, that's going to be this featured stock of the day, INCR. Did you find it, Mary? Yes. INCR. I'm going to watch INCR for this kind of a move. Up and then down. There is a chance that INCR can just go down okay, and then bounce. The, the, the problem is, is it all depends on 4450. That's the key number, 4450. How quickly it gets to 4450. If it, if it breaks 4450, it goes right down to 43. Okay, so that's INCR. It is very thin, so be careful. Trade it on small share size. And do not do market orders. Very good point, Jim, Jim Z. Mr. Marty, I missed you yesterday, buddy. CHRW, not that we traded anything different. We did actually almost CHRW, even though you weren't in the room because of our technical glitches. I know it wasn't your fault. Um, yeah, I know we, did, we, we, we talked about CMI. I did not trade it, but it was a good one. Um, CHRW looks just like a straight up gap and go down. It, the key number is $64, but it's still got a dollar before it gets to 64. This is what's called an N shape pattern. Yeah, but Marty, the only thing I would say, this is what I was screaming out if you were in the room. Um, I was screaming out regardless of the fact you got to run your trades. You got to leave a little bit on. Even 100 shares of, C, C, uh, of CMI yesterday, one guy in the room left 150 shares. Look at uh, CMI. Guys, 100 shares of CMI, or 50 shares of CMI, whatever it was, from 96 down to 92. Okay? It, it's just, I mean, even if you left 25 shares, the, the process would have been right. Yep, no, it was definitely a little bit crazy, though. Okay, meaning that it's just, it's hard to watch. Your stomach is in your, uh, you know what. Guys, I'm going to reiterate the twerp watch. Okay, twerp short watch, reiterate it. Okay. Um, I'm going to put on here CHRW. C H R W. Okay. Gap and go down. Okay. C H R W should get down to C R H W. I think it is. What am I doing? I'm. I'm my dyslexia is is, is leaking in again. C H R W. Four, 64 was the key number. 64 break point. Meaning that goes lower. All right, last one I'm going to feature for today, and I like this stock as a trading stock, is... I'm not sure I understand. Oh, shut up, Siri. QCOM. Okay, QCOM is gapping up. Now, guys, QCOM was, was a fan favorite, okay, meaning it was a stock that had, had been running for some time. 
in 2014. It was in a beautiful uptrend. It, it now looks to have hit a climactic bottom. Okay? And, um, and it is, has gapped up strong off that climactic bottom. All right? Now, this could short squeeze. It may, this looks like an inverse head, shoulder, and then it probably needs to put in a right shoulder. That means that it could fade a bit. Okay? Fade a bit and then do a check mark up. All right, so QCOM, I'm going to watch for an initial fade and then a check mark up. Now, if it does get above and stay above $52, then I would probably stick with it because it's got range up to 53. So the numbers are 52. And 53. The stop level would be, uh, the, the bottom level here would be 50 meaning that's the area it could fade down to pretty easily. Okay? So, let's see what else we got. Oh, PFE! Thank you, Ludovic. Thank you, Ludovic. PFE, guys. Um, PFE is at 33.58. It has broken out on the daily. It has a, a possible swing long up to 36. It may take a pause. Okay, guys, the market just opened. PFE getting a little traction. It's got clear air up to 34, by the way. I'm not green by a lot, but I'm green by 30 bucks. And I was red. C H R W. Okay, guys, I'm going to add a little bit on my C H R W. I still think this is a good trade. Only adding 50 shares. And I'm adding on the offer. Okay, I just got filled. So I got 100 shares short. ZFGN. Okay. Broke the low. I only got, I got 15 cents of, uh, of $15 of profit. I made 52 bucks on it. The only one I initially lost on was uh, CHRW. It just was thin. I was long and it, it dipped down because I thought maybe it would fade. I still think CHRW is, is good, but my stop is going to be above 64.20 on CHRW. Z, ZFGN, okay, I still think is a good short as well. And I'd like to reload on my position. Got a little more shares.
See, HRW just triggered down on the one minute. I'm going to put a bid to cover out on it. At around 63.42. Z F G N. So far that one the ad isn't really doing me much good. I'm gonna put on fifty shares. What I don't like about it is that I got a five minute reversal bar. Um, CHRW guys, CHRW just got kiboshed. Okay, CHRW got filled. I'm all out of it. So I lost 80, made 70, so I call it a flat. CHRW, I should have held some. I just over put out too many offers. I would have been, I would have made money had I not been so aggressive on my offers. I got another 50 shares just to stay with the trade. I think it's a one, two, three down. I'm going to watch the FGN right now. With these thin ones, you got to be really careful. I N. C R. INCR guys looks like a little mini double top. Let's see if it drops. If it breaks above here, INCR is a possible long. So be aware of that. I think uh, INCR is probably a good short below the low. I just don't think it looks like it's fairly new stock. C H R W. So far, not going down. High failure to make a new high. Uh, the Z Z F G N. So far, five minute buy setup is running in my face. I'm going to probably just cover it and take a loss on it if it doesn't go down now. I still think this could be a green bar ignored. I only have 300 shares on a $6 stock. It just doesn't trade like a $6 stock. Struggling. C H R W. Guys, C H R W is back in the short area. If it doesn't go down, I'm just going to cover it at at 64.20, which is the uh, the stop. 64.25, I'm going to say. All right, I'm out. I took a loss on that one. Probably will go down again. ZFGN. I still like ZFGN. If it breaks and goes down again, it will make a new low. I added a little bit on ZFGN. I'm covering at 01. That's 600 shares. I'll short another 400 if it breaks the low. 
By the way, CHRW is still going down. CHRW. Yahoo. Yahoo still going up. Great buy set up on Yahoo there. Glad somebody caught it. Apple, big call today. Doing well for me. I think Apple's probably going to go up all day. If it doesn't, though, I want to have a plan. I have stops on. All right, guys, I'm going to probably bail on this um, the ZFRN, ZFGN. Not going down just yet. 32 cents is my stop. It hasn't hit it yet. ZFGN. We'll probably take 400 shares more if it starts to hook down again. Or cover the whole position if it goes above 32. I've had three very flat days with the exception of Apple and Facebook yesterday, Apple on Monday. Should have took Yahoo to the long side. Like Netflix as well. It's a little pricey for most of our students in the room. It's good for options. Guys, Z, Z, F, G, N, if it hooks back down, is a very good short still. If it goes above 32, it's a cover. I mean, all the level two prints are going off mainly red. Some big buyers there at 20. Those disappear then, and there's some big sellers at 21. So it's kind of a little battle going on. There it goes. I mean, I'd like to blast it, but until it really gets out of this range, it's, it's hard to blast. Because you blast it on the bid, you got three cents. See that guy that came in at 50, 16, 615, 100, uh, 17,000 shares to buy. Now he's gone. Now you're through 012. 010. If it breaks 
Uh, eight was a key number. Okay, it's probably going to get a little green bar, but the good thing is it's now below the moving averages on the one minute chart. Probably a good place to short it, okay? Right here at 1819, because it's now below the moving averages. It's kind of rejected the five minute buy setup. Hopefully it does another three red bars. If it breaks the low of the day, then it'll really pick up momentum. What we're losing right now is opportunity cost by watching this stock, which isn't doing what we're expecting it to do. I just, I, I bailed on it. You guys, if you want, you can stick with it. It hasn't hit 32 yet. 32 is the official stop. I'm going to go look for something else. A lot of times when I bail, guys, okay, that's when it usually goes down. As soon as I did that, notice it dropped again. So hopefully that will work in your favor. Lost a little bit of money. Now I'm going to try to grind it back. On ZFRN, I lost 31 bucks instead of making money. I had a little bit of green profit, but because I added, instead of getting out of the entire position, it ended up costing me my profit. A little bit of a wild stock for a low price one. Okay, fortunately, my, my buy Apple strategy has worked well. Okay, guys, Yahoo worked really well as well. Not sure if Yahoo, I think Yahoo, the, the move on Yahoo is done. PFE guys um, made a nice move up. Looks like it needs a pause today. Uh, Facebook also continuing up. Okay, guys, Facebook also continuing up. If it breaks 108, kiss that baby goodbye. INTU pulling back today. May, need, may, may just need a little bit of a break. Keep an eye on that one later in the day. Microsoft. Guys, Microsoft is on fire. It's just a beautiful trending stock. Uh, CHRW is turning down again. It's right at VWAP, CHRW, and it has not really gone up. It looks like I puked it out at the worst possible time right up there, that, but that was my stop. INCR. INCR looking like it's starting to roll lower. INCR. I'm going to nibble on that one as well. It's a little spready. I'm 
going to put my stop above the high of the day using a range order. The way you do that is you go to range. High price would be above the high of the day, which is 45.70. 45.72. So you want it to break the high of the day. The low price is going to be 44 spot 62. Cover. So what happens is after you put in the range order, you can see your open position and then you have the two orders in there, the buy, stop market, and the limit to cover. Let's see CHRW, I'm going to do the same. Probably going to hit CHRW for a little more shares if it starts to roll down. Not rolling down, so I'm not adding on this one. Okay, guys. Now, the reason I'm down today is uh, my longs I did not take in this account. And the market is a long. Okay, Yahoo was my long. So because I was unbalanced, okay, on my longs and shorts, had I taken the Yahoo long here at this point, that would have been a, diff a big differentiating factor. Yahoo and Microsoft were my two longs, uh, as well as Apple. Here's Microsoft, okay, and of course Yahoo. So because I got over, over short, it threw off my balance. Now generally speaking, I like to be long and short, which is called being market neutral. ZFGN, guys, not going down, but it may turn down now. It just hit into the, the 10 period moving average on the five minute chart. So even though I may not be in it, I'm going to continue to watch it. INCR turning lower. I'm going to add to that short. Well, that was kind of a big drop. I'm adding to the short on INCR. It's got about 40 cents to drop now that it hit into the declining 10 period moving average. 